Hello viewers and my dear students. Welcome to session 1 on CNC pocketing and profile milling video tutorial using EdgeCam. This is in fact problem 4 that is demo on use of CAM software that is EdgeCam for generation of GNDM codes for both pocket and profile milling on a workpiece. The problem is this. See here, in this problem you can clearly see there is a profile here. That means you have a circular profile here, circular profile here, there is a chamfer here and all that. That is a contour profile 6 mm depth, 2 mm peck increment. That means the profile has to move along this three times. That is total depth of cut is 6 mm. Once it goes 2 mm, another time it will go another 2, 4, another time it will go another 2, totally it becomes 6 mm. And 4 mm width means you can choose 4 mm as the width of the cutter. Okay diameter of the cutter as that. That means first the, the profiling has to be done. At the same time, this square pocketing and circular pocketing has to be done. Square pocketing dimensions are 20 by 20 and the circular pocketing dimension is diameter 20. But even here, this square pocket has 6 mm depth of cut and 2 mm peck increment. This also has circular pocket 6 mm depth 2 mm peck increment, that means 3 times it does, 3 mm it does. But as you know, I am giving you the alliances also. As you see, as we have done in the previous problem, we are giving alliances. Now I will read the problem so that it will be clear. Use EdgeCam to generate GNDM codes for pocketing and profile milling as shown below using an end milling cutter of diameter 6 for rough milling and 4 mm diameter cutter for finished milling and 4 mm diameter cutter for profiling centrally on a billet of workpiece 120 by 120 into 20. Now it is 100. That billet size should be for folding purposes and all that. Extra 10 mm here, extra 10, extra 10 here, extra 10 so that it becomes 120 by 120 into 20 is the thickness of the workpiece. Cut increment should be 2 mm. The total depth of cut should be 6 mm. Assume feed rate to be 100 mm per minute and speed of cutter to be 1500 1500 rpm during rough milling and feed rate of 50 mm per minute and speed of cutter to be 2000 rpm during finished milling. Assume rough milling alliance of 0.5 mm on both sides and base for both square and circular pocket. You have to generate the tool path, verify the tool path, also perform 2D and 3D dynamic telemetry and analyze using tracking feature of the software, generate GNDM codes. Those are all the common things what has been asked. But as I said, please understand you have to uh, leave Alliance of 0.5 on both sides and base. That means only for this pocketing I have given alliances. That means this total depth of cut is 6 mm. That is after rough milling, it will be 5.5 on the base. That 0.5 will be removed during finishing. And also on the sides also, it will be, it is 20, no, it is actually 19. Even here 19, that 0.5 will be removed during finishing here. So that it becomes 20 by 20 and the depth of cut will be 6 mm. In the same way here also, okay, now in this also, first 2, 4, then 5.5. That 0.5 will be removed during finishing and this will be actually 19 mm and, uh, and I think a depth of cut of 0.5 mm, 0.5 will be re retained after rough milling. That is uh, taking a depth of cut of 0.5, once it is... Uh, rotated round this, the cutter rotates round this, this becomes 20. That means initially it will be 19 and the depth will be uh, 9, that is uh, 19, 19.5, that is sorry, 6.5. The depth will be 6.5, sorry 5.5, the depth will be 5.5 and after finishing, now that 5.5 will become 6 and 19 will become 20. At the same time, even here also, the after rough milling, the depth will be 5.5 and this square will be 19 and 19 and now in the finished milling, it becomes 20 by 20. Okay, and you have to do uh, all the uh, design part as per the specifications given. We'll do this in session one, the design part only. Okay, now see here, I'll go to the CNC, uh, that is edge cam. Okay, file new you do as usual file new you do then compulsory op options xy environment only you should have then you go to this polyline command 
polyline command you go, uh, coordinate input you go, then you see here, here, 0, 0, this is the origin, okay, 0, 0 you take, origin, you say, say continue, then x100, y0, that is this point you take, this is absolute only, all with reference to common origin, I am doing this square, okay, this x100, y0, this you say continue, okay, then x100, y100 you do, so that this point is obtained, this continue you do, okay, this you do, then to get this point, it is x0, y100 you take, so that this line is obtained, okay, x0, y100, then what you do is x0, y0 you do, so that it will come back to the original point. That means the square has been obtained. But as you know here, as you know here, you have an arc of radius 15 here, radius 15 here, and the chamfer also 15, 15, and all that. Okay. In that way, we have to take care of those things now. Now, as you see here, you have, now I'll go to the zoom extents. Zoom extent if you go. Okay. Now, you have a radius command here okay carefully take the radius command dynamic trim you have written it radius is 15 just say okay then you come here and click here approximately that means automatically that is trimmed and arc you get approximately here you click here that means that also you got then right button you come out of this then you have you have one chamfer option also chamfer option also take the chamfer option and angle is 45 because 15 15 okay angle is 45 length is 15 you take angle is 45 length is 15 you just say okay but uh, trim first entity trim second entity that means two lines you have to trim okay you have to click on two lines you just say okay okay then you click this and click this you are getting this okay now we are perfect up till this okay now what you do is after doing all this, uh, that is uh, our right button you do, you come out of this chamfer command. Now, you go to the project now, go to the project and uh, click on minus 20 so that we will give the thickness of the workpiece as 20 mm. Okay, just say minus 20, okay say, click on the profile, double click on the profile, you get this, put the right button, it will come out of that. Then whether you have done it correctly or not, you just see this put isometric, you will know that correctly this thickness is 20 mm. Is it okay? Thickness is 20 mm. You got the arc profile here, arc profile here, chamfer profile here. Everything has been obtained. Now, to get the extra material also, what I do is, because this is 100 and 100 as you know, this is 100, 100, this also 100, and the material or billet to be used is 120 into 120 into 10. That is why geometry I'll go, Stock fixture, I'll go. Geometry, stock fixture. X minimum, y, X maximum. That is, X minimum on X side, minimum and maximum 10. And Y also, 10 and 10, it will give. 10, 10, 10, 10, you add. add. Automatic stock, you have. Box, you have it ready. Then geometry also, you have it ready. Don't change any other things. Box, it has to be box only. This automatic stock, you have it. Then you just say, okay. Now you are perfectly done up till here. As you see here, this is 120 mm workpiece. This is outer. And you are doing the profiling here. And you have to have a circular pocket. And uh, uh, circular pocket, square pocket and all that we will do. Okay. Now I will go for the top view. Now since uh, this uh, user coordinate system is ready here. So, and all will be the G and M course all will be generated with reference to this origin only. Okay. This is the importance of this. And the workpiece is 120 by 120. Everything is perfect. Now, I will go for the top view. Okay. Now, we be careful, uh, very careful here. Because I have to get one square here. Square at a distance of 15 and 15. As you see here, that is, you please look at the drawing. Now, what I will do is, I have a point command here. I will go on the point command. And go on the coordinate input here. And x20, y20, I'll go, 
I'll just say okay. Okay, now I'll come out of that. Now you see here, from here x20, y20, you have this. Okay, now at this, you, are, you have to have a square of x20. Now I'll use the incremental command here for the first time because all with reference to common origin, sometimes it becomes tedious. So many calculations have, it, uh, have to be done. This incremental would be very handy here. You see here. Now what I do, I go for the polyline command. I'll click on this. Okay. Then I'll go on, go to coordinate input. You see here. Now I'll go for incremental. Incremental, this itself is origin. Ix going positive, this way is positive. Going this way is negative. Going upwards is positive y. Going come to coming down is minus y. Okay, in that way, this is positive x minus x. In that way, I'll use the incremental command. Now, what I'll do is, ix is 20. Incremental, compulsory, it should be ix is 20, you take. From here, 20, you take. Okay, it'll do. Then, again, y also, incremental I do. With reference to this, it'll go up by plus 20. It'll go up by 20. This is itself is origin. iy, incremental, it'll go up by 20. You just say continue. Okay. Then again, incremental I'll do. These are all very important. Please try practice this again and again so that there should not be any error. You should get the simulation properly. Okay. Incremental. Now you have to go this way. No. You are at the origin is this. Sir. Going this way is positive. This way is negative. That's why compulsorily you take this as minus 20. Okay. Just say continue. Okay. Then again, y also, you make it incremental. And uh, coming, going up is positive. Coming down is negative. In that way, minus 20 you do. Minus 20 you do. In this way, you have got the square also. Okay, square. That is, this has to be done pocketing. Okay, still here in the design phase. Then there is some circular uh, pocketing to be done. That circle has to be done at a distance of 70. That is why, what I'll do is, I'll go for the... Uh, uh, point command. Okay. I'll go for x coordinate input. Then 70, 70 is the thing. You please look to the drawing. Look to the drawing for the dimensions and all that. It is 70, 70. I'll put the right button. The 70, 70 is this. Sir. This is from here 70. This also 70. Okay. Once you get this, okay, you go for uh, radius arc, this command. Okay. Once you go for radius arc, and start angle 0 you give, end angle 360 you give, okay, end angle 360 you give, okay, radius is 10, 10 you give, that is diameter is 20, let's say okay, and then just go and click on this, you are getting beautifully this also, that means now you know very well, this has to be pocketing, this has to be circular pocketing, this has to be square pocketing, and the tool has to move on the uh, profile here. Okay. Now, this is the end of design phase. Now, what I'll do is, I'll go for the manufacturing phase after this. Okay. Compulsory you take. fanuk 3 xmcp you take. Okay. Just say okay. Okay. fanuk 3 xmcp you take. In that way, once you do this, and you see here, isometric also I'll go. It is perfectly done. Now, you see here, first the tool has to go here along this profile. Okay, three times. First minus two, another minus four depth of cut, another minus six depth of cut. Three times it will go along this profile. That is four mm diameter cutter. And after that, there is there will be profiling here, but alliances have been left. That's why this will be 5.5 .5 will be the depth of cut. This will be 19 and 19 and during finishing that 19 will become 20 and 5.5 .5 will become 6. In the same way, here also the diameter will be 19. This actually diameter is 20. After rough milling, the diameter will be 19 and the depth of cut will be 5.5 .5, and the 5.5 .5 to 6 mm and 19 to 20 mm is done during finish milling. Okay. Now we have come to the end of session 1 and in session 2, I will do the simulation part, that is entire manufacturing part, I will show it to you in the second session too. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you friends. Thank you.